Okay, welcome back. It's Sunday, and uh, you're back in church with Brother Moo. Trying to get ambient, trying to get animal, trying to program so the wheels fall off. Today, today, yesterday was clouds. Okay, hi everyone. Today, Father Moo here. It looks like the microphone was disconnected or set to zero for the beginning of this video. So I will do a little robot recap for you. The patch was named Small Animals even from the beginning. The goal I had in mind was to mentally create a field where little animals were talking and playing. They would chirp and chatter and say animal stuff. Rather quickly, though, the patch got away from me and turned into something else. So let's pick it up from where it starts making some sounds and after a little bit my normal voiceover microphone will be heard again. Cheers. It's Sunday and you're praying with Father Mu. Sometimes you don't see everything. First of all, just save this bad boy. Wait, first try to record my shit. Hi, I'm gonna do something you haven't seen me do. I'm gonna load up the last patch we made, clouds. Batch right here. Copy it. Go back to that first Now I'm gonna paste it right in here. Oh, whatever. Yep, it's real. So there's my whole <laughs> random TV generator from the previous uh, round, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's what I uh, wanted to do here, I wanted to steal it, rather than build it again, so uh, yeah, this could be useful to me, I don't see why I don't want that even, so let's get this thing taken out here, do I have a sound card? I don't want to lose this video, so I'll stick with the reverb for a bit.
Even I was getting even I was getting a little bored of the sequence pattern, so I decided to just switch them up. I'm not really getting the sounds I was hoping for from from the wave wrapper here. So screw him. I don't have a problem with the clipped one. Getting variation between the sounds, but uh, not exactly what I hope to uh, to get. I'm gonna move these here, breaking my rules about where to put things. I'm wondering if maybe it would be cool. I'm gonna break these stupid connections. Instead of running the sequencers. As little loops off the clock. What if they just uh, had some had had long loops and then reset on weird times? I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna run these out. What's the max? Sixty four. Apparently not. <laughs> so the max is a lot. I'm only going to use one channel of each. And I will need to randomly uh, reset them at some point. So I might use this. Here's the pulse generator. That will be the random reset clock for each one whenever it gets around to it. I wonder if you, yeah, I'm running a reset clock, but not a clock clock. Will the sequencer run? It doesn't appear to. Oh shit, I just cleared the, okay, I didn't know what that button did, but I learned. A little oh I guess it says C L R I thought it said C K <laughs> I'm stupid. But yeah, they're gonna need a clock. We got this nice dead slow clock here. Yep. Maybe those pattern generators will do something someday. For now, yep, yep, this is good. I'm going to use this one for a noisy boy here. 
him get in the game. See, he's got one step right here. Doesn't really sound like little animals, but uh, that's interesting. really going away from where I <laughs> my original ideas but I don't even care what if instead of that and I'm actually planning to replace a drum with this just a little no yeah it could be give him a cheap filter because it doesn't move very much but it's a filter I like this pulse width modulation has always been a favorite of mine especially when it's something really random and weird which you can't do it on normal synth I'm going to take this trigger out put it into here So let's give him some notes. Uh, I'm not going to use a sequencer today. Key Quantum. Yeah. That's more my fiddle of fish. It's half. I can't remember what's half on this bastard. This is Max is 64, so it's like 32, right? Keep it this. Run that into the pitch. In and give him some randomness to eat. are wobbling. I think I like that. I was almost going to put in a clocked random step in there so the, the knobs, the notes would switch only with the tempo. But I'm kind of liking the way it sounds now. The noise is too loud. Working out for old Frankie here. So we we got rid of channel one. We stole hit that drums sequence. Made him into a square wave with a fixed filter. Yeah, I think I'm gonna burn it and give him a better filter. A filter that can actually you know, modulate. That's the new hot thing in filters. People are like, what if my filter wasn't just stuck at one goddamn frequency? And I'm like, you know what? That is
Let's do a little cleanup job. Not using these bad boys. Drag these up here. The sequences are being weird, but I'm going to put them in their normal place. Okay, so we got one drum on channel two. The noise drum is three. And the melody is four now. Meaning that one is empty. Put the audio up at the top there. I like how it disappears up to the top of the scale and the filter is preventing you from hearing any overly piercingly high notes. Put the little clockers back here. And he generates blue stuff, so I'm gonna put him with the copied random. His randomness of pitch is kind of directional. Because he's just, I mean, it's being fed. No, no, he's being fed something weird. So why, maybe this knob should be turned off. Is that it? I think that C-O-N-T means continuous, like it tries to reduce the gap between steps. Not sure. Anyway, what I want to do now, I know what I want to do now. Build another oscillator to be friends with the first guy. He's gonna be a sawtooth wave. Oh, maybe for a change it could be a triangle wave. Don't think we've seen one of those around here. He gets a nice filter too. And he gets an envelope because dudes need envelopes. He's going to have a similar sort of uh, changing pitch like the one you're hearing now. you but I'm getting a kind of like percussion and melody vibe from from these guys I kind of want to throw in a couple other drum sounds but I don't want them to overdo it at least one of them is going to be under the clocked pattern generator Should have his clock divided first. Clock divide dinner. Okay, divide his clock size. Oh, that's not the right way. The clock has to come from the master clock. <laughs> it's roaring along at 36 BPM. And then go into the generator after being divided by, let's start with two, just to be reasonable. And I'll just do more. supposed to be a partner for that other percussion piece. And he's not overdoing it, so... Let's do something similar here. Second drum synth. I forgot about my first melody thing, but it doesn't matter. Who cares? We'll get there. We need some kind of... Kick five. Probably something from the percussion range. The noise is already the symbol, so. Yeah, that could be right. 
I'm just wondering as I hear this myself now. Did I build this patch because I was forced to have reverb on it because the sound card crashed? Because it sounds good with the reverb that it has. That would be quite an unconscious change. Percussion. Yeah, one is really... I'm getting a sort of... Uh, like Asian meditative music and percussion thing here. And I'm hearing the drums as being they're like the guy who plays the wooden fish, except instead of just playing a one repeating note all the time on a, like a metronome. A rhythmic cycles. Oh, that was a five dollar word. We don't use five dollar words on this on this uh, Moo channel anymore. It's been banned. That's what I meant to do. Well, first I moved the key quantizer. But what I meant to do was copy it. Because I'm going to have mostly similar notes. Of, uh, the key quantizer for our next pitched guy, which is this guy. Where is he going to get a pattern from? From here? It's as good a place as any, I guess. Sorry. Yeah, he's playing. Maybe he should be tuned to a different octave. Let's bring this guy back in. Just very, very similar. They're too similar, if anything. One way to jazz that up will be I was already thinking of doing this. Putting a second filter in the signal chain here. Drop him into some smoother vowels. And then give him a clocked random step generator. And we run out of space down here. Plug that into the world clock, or actually let's plug it into the divided clock, just to be wacky. Colored mode will be fine. And then modulate. We should take some notes out of this one to differentiate them more. Many notes out. 
I will tell you one thing. I'm going to have to rename this since it's no longer small animals. I'm just going to save as. I'm going to call it Templescape. It's like a landscape in a temple. Man, did I ever get far away from my original goal, but who cares? I like this. It's a little repetitive of my own music to have the pictures go all the way up and then come all the way back down again. It's probably due to a limitation in my effort in uh, creating random CV. I thought I had, you know, done enough to make it weird, but it just seems to drift all the way up and then drift all the way down again. But I like this too much to complain at it. You got the two little melodies, you got the what sounds like a dull hand drum, a, a, it's almost like a taiko like kick drum. And then you have the shiny percussion of number one here, plus the noise cloud. I'm just gonna mess with this kick to see if I can get a different one. I said, as soon as I said taiko, I was like, yeah. Yeah, see how it rings now? That's cool. Yeah. Just a little tweak like that makes a big difference. Anyway, I don't know about you, but I, I like it. It's a little poorly organized <laughs> style back then. Cables here, but I mean, it is what it is. This is sort of like, in case anyone's using this later, this is the randomness and quantization that didn't fit in this section. So all this is doing all clocking and timing duties or CVing duties. Here's the voices. Here's the envelopes and filters. I guess since this is an effect, it should be here. An audio effect and not a filter per se. And then the mixer. Well, we got the six voices out of eight. And wow, we are at 98% and I didn't even realize it. Brilliant. I really like this saving into the synth. What an odd thing to come up with. Be. But hey, I'm Father Mu. I live in Asia. I came up with a random Asian temple. Can't be that crazy, can it? Let's just listen to it for a bit. Thanks for joining us. Mu out.